world's major industrial countries. We've embraced the challenge of nationally determined contributions in which there's a collective responsibility to meet the gathering environmental challenge of our time. There is widespread consensus on the need for energy transition to move away from the risks associated with the most polluting non-renewable assets that have driven growth in the global economy for 150 years. In Nigeria, we have ambitious plans to further exploit hydroelectric potential as well as to benefit from advances in solar technology. But we believe an effective transition to a carbon neutral economy must also be a stable transition. And that can only be achieved by reliable and affordable access to cleaner energy. It is increasingly understood that natural gas is set to play a critical part in the process of energy transition that will be marked in decades, not years. Qatar and Nigeria are blessed with hydrocarbon deposits that place us at the center of this new energy equation. Qatar has the third largest gas reserves in the world. Nigeria is best known as Africa's largest oil producer. But in reality, Nigeria is actually a gas province with a bit of oil. We're sitting on reserves of 208 trillion cubic feet. We use our reserves to develop our economic economies and our confidence that we can also develop partnerships that will support the process of transition. Partnerships between established and emerging economies, rich and poor, small and large, are under critical scrutiny. The end of the Cold War gave way to globalization now we see the return of tariffs and trading barriers and the reemergence of rival security blocks. When faced with COVID-19, a global health challenge that we knew that knew no borders, it was remarkable how quickly and dramatically the rhetoric of international cooperation disappeared into a form of vaccine apartheid. Countries place national interests first. When energy prices in most of Europe shot up after the outbreak of war in Ukraine, anxiety over climate change was quickly replaced by concern for energy security. Subsidies for consumers were introduced. The dirtiest of coal mines received a new lease of carbon emitting life. Access to affordable energy is a political issue in every country. And it is a national security issue. Strategies to combat climate change must reflect these realities front and center. Ladies and gentlemen, it is incumbent on gas-rich countries like Qatar and Nigeria to make the case for gas as a cleaner alternative and transition fuel fit for human use. I say transition not necessarily because we need to move on to more expensive sources of energy even before the technology is readily available and affordable. 
I say transition, transition fuel, <coughs> because we've always understood hydrocarbons to be a finite source of energy that countries would eventually run out of. Nigeria requires a partner such as Qatar that shares a similar epistemology of gas as a resource for human utility in order to develop its gas assets further and expand market share for the benefit.